Hi guys, it's Mandy from Mandy Lee Plays, and in this video, I'm going to share with you some summer games that are perfect for this hot weather that we have here. So I compiled a perfect list for the summer, so let's get to it. First, let me take off these glasses because I can't see. You see clearly now, my glasses are wrong. So what I consider a summer game is a game that's lighthearted and fun because summer always equates vacationing and just letting loose and letting go to me. So that's the type of games I love to play. Now I do play different games as well, but I really enjoy my lighthearted games during the summer. So my first picks are everything Mario. You can't go wrong with Mario during the summer. It is a staple. I used to play Mario a lot when I was younger during the summer because they're just so fun easy to pick up you can play with friends with some of them like mario kart hi it's editing mandy and as of the making of this video nintendo announced a new way for mario kart which is so hype we have some really cool courses like waluigi pinball i just wanted to put it here because you know as i was editing and stuff they kind of dropped it out of nowhere typical nintendo and i wanted to let you guys know that you know to be hyped about that too it's a summer game and something to look forward to Smash Bros, Mario Party, those are really, really good games to play. But not only those, you could play the sports games. Even though I am kind of mixed on the sports games, they are fun to play with other people during the summer. We have Mario Golf, Mario Tennis, and Mario Strikers that recently released. So even though I have my critiques about it, it's a lot of fun to play during the summer, not gonna lie, because of the outdoors and the sports kind of vibe. And for all the fans of single player Mario games, the 3D Mario games are staples. You got Super Mario Odyssey, and then we have Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy. Mario 64 does not exist, it's a cursed game, and it's bad. But you have the other two, and they're very very good, especially Mario Sunshine since they're on the island, it's a beach setting. It's just a summer game overall. It's made to just lay back and relax. So all in all, you can't go wrong with any Mario game during the summer because it ticks all the boxes of a summer game with its sports, its multiplayer, and single player too. So our next game on the list is Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I picked this one because the sequel is coming out soon. And plus, it's really cheap on the eShop. It goes on sale all the time. And it's just a fun game to play. It's kind of a tactical RPG thing going on with Rabbids and Mario. A concept that I didn't think would work, but it works really well and it's so funny. It's multiplayer compatible, but you could play it solo player too and have a great time. Highly recommend this one. So I talked about Mario a lot, so I wanted to include a Zelda game. And that game is... The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This game is perfect for the summer. It's good to pick up and put down. It's very, very cute and I love the art style and the music is top notch. So this game takes place on an island too, so that already gives me summer vibes. And it's a remake of a classic from the Game Boy era and not one to be missed. All right, and the next game is Altira, Ryza, Ever Darkness, and The Secret Hideout. I always have to put an Atelier game in because it's becoming one of my favorite series of all time. It's so good. But I picked this one because it's the one that got me into the series. And because it has the whole summer journey vibes going on it. It's very laid back and it's kind of a slice of life kind of JRPG. I love collecting ingredients and making the best stuff I can in my Atelier. And the characters are very, very fun, and I enjoyed it so much. So I highly recommend this game. And yes, this is the one with the thighs, if you're wondering. <laughs> and my next pick is another multiplayer game, but you can also play single player as well. And that is Splatoon 2. I love Splatoon 2, and I can't wait for Splatoon 3. I haven't played Splatoon 2 in a hot minute, but that's because I'm kind of just getting ready for Splatoon 3. And it's one of Nintendo Switch's staple games, so I highly recommend it if you haven't played it. Now, do I recommend picking it up now? Probably not, because the Splatfest is over, everything's over, and Splatoon 3 is coming out. But if you already have it, then it's a good time to break it out and play during the summer with your friends. And to get you more hyped for Splatoon 3, because I am hyped. So hyped. <laughs> Have you guys seen those Joy-Cons? They're so beautiful. The Switch OLED edition. 
Like, I'm really tempted into getting an OLED just for that Switch limited edition because it's just like freaking sexy and it's, it's just like, mm. it's hotter than the summer looking. But what I am gonna get is that Pro Controller. Oh my god, freak, it's sexy. Now, if they handle it like they handled the special edition of Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I'm in trouble because that was handled poorly. So let's just hope for the best, but expect the worst. That should be the slogan. Have you guys ever heard of the saying, the more you like something, the more you criticize it because you wanted to see it do better? That's my relationship between me and Nintendo. And my next game is Xenoblade Chronicles 1, 2, and the upcoming 3. I have Xeno in my brain, so I had to put this on the list. What makes it a summer game? Oh, I don't know, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 coming out in like two days? That makes it a summer game by default. The story looks nice. The gameplay looks really, really good. It looks like they took elements from one and two, mushed them together and made it something new. It looks very, very nice and I can't wait to play it. So if I disappear for a while, you probably know why. Nah, I'm just playing. I'll probably stream it. If I stream a game and it's really, really good, I'll just go ahead and play it on my own and I'll go back on stream and be like, Mandy, weren't we on chapter one? Why, why, why is this chapter five? Oh, uh, I slipped and kind of uh, did half of the game for you. <laughs> so I do wanna stream Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna pull it off or if I'm just going to stream it a little bit and then play it on my own. But I do want to do content focusing on Xenoblade Chronicles 3 because it, it's looking like a, a gothy material. And I rarely say that. I've seen people who say gothy material for anything. I rarely say gothy material for a game I haven't played. So if I say that, that means the hype is real and most likely it's gothy material. I use the word very, very lightly. That's the end of my list of summer games you should play in the summer. Now I'm gonna go take some water because you need to stay hydrated, take my Switch, and go lay by the pool and play some games. Though I'm really not gonna do that because what if water gets on your Switch? Don't do that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. I would appreciate it. And if you love my videos and would love to see more, please hit that subscribe button. We are almost to 5k, so let's go. With all that being said, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay hydrated. I know it's hot outside. And play a good game. Peace, peace.